Messi Coder here with another Unity quick tip showing you how you can go from this light Unity theme to this dark Unity theme without spending a penny. That's right, you can make Unity think you're using professional and you're not really cunning. You'll also find out how you can get your hands on $2,000 worth of Unity assets. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you in a second. Hi guys and girls, Messy Coder here with a Unity quick tip. Last night when I was streaming on Twitch, I noticed that the Unity interface is a bit light. All this time that I've been doing these YouTube videos, I've never really noticed how light it is and sometimes it's difficult to read. When you play about with the Unity Professional, you get this lovely dark theme, but the standard has got this light one. And I was looking around to see how I can get Unity standard to look nice and dark like Unity Pro. Now it turns out to enable the dark theme on the standard Unity, well, it's relatively easy as long as you don't mind mucking about with your EXC. Now I know that can be scary, so don't forget, always make a backup like I've done here. I've made a folder and I've copied this in, made a backup, and I'm also going to copy the EXC inside the editor folder. Why am I doing that? Well, that's because I like to have two versions of Unity. I like to have a dark and a light one, so I can switch between the two themes. Because unfortunately, with this little tweak, I can't do that inside the editor itself. So I'm going to call this file unity.dark.exe. And that's the one that I'm going to be editing in my hex editor. To edit my file, I'm using Hex Edit. It's free, it's available on Windows. I'm not sure if this solution is going to work for Mac users as well, but if you do know, please put it in the comments below. So inside Hex Edit, we want to open up the unity.dark.exe. We don't want to open up the unity.exe because we don't want to edit the original. And in this file, we're going to find a line that's going to set jump not equal to be jump equal, getting rid of the n. And that way it's always set to true and we can have our lovely dark theme. So I'm going to put in the description below what we're looking for. I'm going to find it here. And here's the line. We want to change this 75 to be 74. There you go. That was easy enough, wasn't it? Let's click save and hope that nothing's exploded. Go back into your Unity editor folder. And now let's try to open up unity.dark.exe. Now it's got all my projects here. I'm just going to mask it out because you don't need to see all my silly projects. I'm going to click load. And now we can see that we've got a nice dark theme going on inside Unity. If you go to edit preferences, you can see it says editor skin and now it's set to professional and you can't change it. We haven't edited the original Unity EXE, so I can exit this, get back and open up the original Unity EXE. Once again, let's mask out my silly projects, click open a project, and, and we've got our light theme again. And that way you can choose between the two, if you want to load up your dark theme, or if you want to load up your light theme. I'm not too sure if that's going to have any negative impacts, but when I've been mucking about, it seems to work quite fine. Just in case you do want to just not have two versions, you can always leave this original EXC as back. Say, yeah, I want to change it and put your dark to be the new EXC. There's a new king in town. But for me, I like having a choice between the two. So I'm going to have my dark and I'm going to keep my light. Well, that's it, guys, for my quick, short, and sweet tutorial. Most of you already knew about this. Well, I didn't, so maybe there's one guy out there who doesn't know, and now you do. And don't forget that on Saturday, I'll be giving away nearly $2,000 worth of Unity assets. We went from 1,000 to 2,000, and it's very apt because we are celebrating coming close to our 2,000th subscriber on YouTube. To celebrate, how are we going to do it? Well, that's right, we're going to put a stream on a rival platform. We're going to be streaming on Twitch on Saturday, 9pm GMT. Come early and grab yourself a seat, be ready, and put your name down to win one of these beautiful assets that we'll be giving away. And every day this week, I'll be doing a very short stream where I'll be previewing some of the assets that we'll be giving away on Saturday. I'm very excited. I hope you're excited too. So, see you all next Saturday. And if you do like it, click it. Till next time. 
If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button, and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.